Hey all, Rowdy here, and welcome to my third video in my series on the Elite Dangerous Ship Cockpits in VR. Today we're going to start with uh, Lacon Spaceways ships, and specifically first up is the ASP Explorer and ASP Scout. And I'm putting them together because essentially the cockpits are exactly the same. So this will make it a little bit easier for us to get through this, since they have quite a few ships. Um, and so, as you can see, now the, the, the big thing you'll note with all their ships is you've got a lot of view space um, in the canopy. And uh, as you can see, uh, as I looked down, and I looked, I'll do that again, you'll see a lot of space below you and above you. So I spent a lot of time uh, in VR looking at that. And uh, we come back around, and you can see all that space below you. Now, the nice thing about that, and this is what I really like about the ASP, I happen to fly one of these um, quite a bit and really like it, is that uh, it really makes for a good good explorer uh, craft in that uh, it's really good and easy uh, to, to conduct landings, whether you happen to go to one of the space stations or specifically on the surface of planets. It makes it really easy to see where you're landing. So I really like it for that. Uh, um, and if you're, especially if you're out exploring, you can just see so much more, especially if you're in VR, you can see so much more as you're looking around, which, uh, which is really what you're doing when you're exploring anyway. So you can see the canopy up top there, a lot there to see, um, a lot of view space, unencumbered for, for the most part, All right? Um, and it uh, looks really nice. The other night, interesting thing about this as we come back around to the back of the uh, cockpit for the ASPs is that it's very simple um, design. There's nothing really there. You can see most other ships, uh, uh, there, are, there are monitors and everything in the back. There's nothing here. It's just empty. So it's empty space. These are very simply designed uh, craft. And as I move back behind um, the the uh, the seat you'll see, and I come back around, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing there, very plain, and then very simple up front as well. Uh, there's no, there's just that one dash, and that's about it. All right? Again, lots of view space. Kind of makes you feel when you're flying, and especially in VR, you're kind of exposed out there, right? But um, but anyway, it's, it it works. It works really well for exploration and flying. There's the headless uh, pilot. Uh, if you've seen the previous two videos, you will have seen the headless pilot before. And we're coming back around to the other side just to get that view. I spent a little bit of time looking at the, uh, the canopy here and uh, also specifically looking at some of the textures you see along on the edges here of the canopy. They did a pretty good job. You look at the textures in here and look out to the engines on either side, particularly on this side. And then back again to look behind us. Again, nice view of the textures that they've created. Again, no other panels. Very, very simple. All right, so come back and we'll sit down here and uh, take a look at the next set of ships. So everything's, everything else is basically the same. The seat is essentially the same in all the ships uh, we've visited thus far up to this this uh, number three in the series. I'm going to sit here, and next up will be the Diamondback Scout and Explorer from like on Spaceways. And again, I've combined them because, again, they are the same. Now, as we look at it, same type of thing, uh, space below and above you. Lots of, uh, of area for viewing, although a little bit more encumbered in this uh, in the Diamondback series, and then you got these these bracings uh, that you see are wider, so there's a little bit more encumbered there. And then we're gonna just kind of look down below here. You can see again below you a little bit gives you some view space. There's that crazy keyboard again that I talked about in previous videos. Don't quite understand that, but it's there. And then. Um, so we'll stand up now and do that 360 turn just so you can get an idea of what that looks like as you're standing up and turning around all the way around in the view that you see. So again, uh, a lot more stuff in here. As uh, you can see, the difference between the ASPs and the Diamondback, the uh, Diamondback having all these monitors in the back and there's some 
look like what look like extinguishers of some sort and uh, fire extinguishers and uh and then a lot more up on the front of the dash that key crazy keyboard again and a lot of other things there right I'm not really sure what all that is but you see wires and everything else didn't see any of that in the ASP again the headless pilot come around the other side you can see the exposed wires on the left side there and again another dash on the other side for systems you know take a viewing of systems we've seen these before and uh, in the uh, Falcon delay uh, delay C spaceships as well and again the same type of uh, door for the uh, for the bridge here and we're coming back around and look at the back view on the other side of the, the chair to see the, uh, the view and how that looks again pretty open view um, I haven't ever owned one of these ships but uh, um, I have flown them a couple of times especially in beta series okay now we're going to come up on the transporters the first in those series is the type 6 and here we go again uh, the view above and below the panel more simple again just like the ASP this is very simple design not much there um, but uh, quite a bit of viewing as you can see we look up see so as you're sitting in your seat you can see so much especially we're in VR and again as we're as we're doing this through video you're not even seeing as much as you would see in VR but there are those panels again um, and a few more of them here so as you the you know it's not as quite as clean behind you in the um, type 6 uh, as it is in the ASP but, but certainly up front it is that's pretty nice um, Again, these kind of you sit out here kind of on a bubble on the ship, making it uh, relatively simple to land. Again, and we're going to do that 360 turn. See what you see in the back here. You see the panels, system status panels, same door to the uh, to the cockpit again. And once again, down below, what you see as you're looking down at the floor, the same type of you know flooring material and all the lacons. And there's these huge engines on either side that kind of obscure some of your view in the in the uh, in the windows and the canopy. And you can see what you're looking at, you know, what it says here. I just I purposely got up here because you can really see very clearly what it's saying there. We'll do it on the other side as well. And uh, what's interesting is you go to all the ships that have those status panels. They're pretty much the same. Different pictures of ships, but they're same. Pretty much the same in all the ships. Not much difference. All right, come back around. Try to go right over the headless pilot. And um, as we come around here, what's interesting, again, I'm viewing underneath you. See just how much you, you will see as you're standing up on this one. Uh, we come back around here, there's a couple of interesting, this panel over here just of wires, I don't really get that, but it's there. Um, and we come up a little bit closer here. There you go, active core nominal, what's going on there. Kind of like an electrical panel almost. Um, we come back around a little bit stuttering here going in on this video I just noticed but I'll leave it I'm not going to re-record it and we'll come back down and sit down and pick up with the next in the series of transporters which is the type 7 and let's take a look and look at some similarities and differences again all the similarities are the same the view below and above you while you're sitting in the, the chair um, it's a bigger ship, uh, so you know some of the bracings and everything else. A lot, you know, are are, are larger. Uh, as with the canopy itself is more like I think the ASP, but um, 
but you can see the similarities as you go as you look back behind you a little bit um, and down on the floor here you see these bracings up against the uh, canopy and the, the bulkhead and the and uh, down below you this does have multiple multi decks on it you can't really see them here uh, I'll look down below a little bit as, as I get a little bit closer but you will see it much larger ship I uh, actually had one of these for a good long while as my transporter um, I just I call it the flying pig because it you know you fly it just like that <laughs> it doesn't maneuver very well this is like a flying pig and so if you look out back behind you above just a lot of space up there right a lot of space up there very busy back there there are some panels back there some actually seated positions um, back behind you which I find very interesting um, and I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to that as far as the uh, tether on my VR my oculus can allow me to go just so we can see a little bit more of it so we'll come back around and we'll go visit that area see so no panels directly here you can see the deck and just start seeing the deck uh, down below here as I as I come over and kind of creep up now it's interesting in VR you kind of feel like you get a little bit as you look down like that you you kind of get a little bit um, dizzy at it um, thinking that you might fall if you get too close your brain plays really weird things uh, weird tricks on you so you can see same door back there but what we have are panels up there um, and 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 uh, seats uh, for people to uh, I assume work uh, or perform some functions not really sure of what and we look down back behind the uh, pilot's chair relatively simple up front as opposed to the Diamondbacks and a lot of space down below and when you here you can sit forward and in, in, in on this ship you can sit forward um, and see below you a lot better when you're trying to land and things. This is just really nice to be able to do that, especially when you're flying this, you know, flying this pig. It's so hard to maneuver sometimes because it's so slow, especially when it's loaded up. Yeah, I spent a lot of time looking at that because it is it is pretty impressive to look down there. Again, looking out at the engines fairly large, take up a lot of space, and obscure some of the view back behind you. Another view from the other side, looking at the um, the uh, stations back there. All right, and come back around. Yeah, I got a little bit, you saw that color change, I got a little bit too far for the Oculus and turned around, I was having a hard time keeping up with the tracking. And again, looking behind it and looking out, just a lot of view. And when you're out there exploring and you're, you know, around planets and things, it's pretty cool. All right. And we'll come back down and sit down here as well. I'm slowly maneuvering myself here because I don't want to trip over my chair. So it takes me a little bit of time to get sat back down. Next up is the Type 9 Heavy. Now this one is impressive. I, I really enjoy. I, I've flown these quite a bit. I've used this as my transport and still do. It's, it's just it's a big ship. Again, lots of view space. You're sitting out there, affectionately known as the flying cow, because yes, it flies like a cow. And um, slow and doesn't maneuver very well. So we look just behind, you can see the decks below you, and you really can see these decks. Right below you see that chair, right below you, the pilot chair with uh, a keyboard again. And uh, we go to the other side, and you'll see another one. So a multi-crew ship, a lot of space, you kind of sit up above everyone. And as we turn around here and do the 360, it's pretty impressive as well. Just so how much space is back there. You begin to realize just how big of a ship this is. I stand up now and do that as I slowly make my way up. All 
All right, let's turn around. Looking at the view again above. It's all glass above you as well. And you can see right behind you. So we're looking behind. You see the, the, uh, the, the bulkheads and the, uh, the ceiling up there. Just a lot of open space. Right? And we come back around and look again below. And all the space there. A lot of viewing for those, those other chairs down there. That some kind of communication station of some sort. Look at the deck down there below the stairway. And even further back be beyond that. Much goes way down there, right? Tons of space. And I'm going to work my hair way around here. Kind of look down there. You feel like you're going to fall when you're in VR. And so I come back around. That's really cool. As I'm looking down, you can see that space in between the decking even further down. And there's a couple of uh, passageways on either side, especially on this side here. You see it quite, quite well. Uh, the door back here is open. I'm assuming that's an a elevator of sorts back there. Come back around. Again, all that is is a keyboard. Which is very interesting. It makes me wonder if once we get to multi-crew ships, if they'll change those out for some other type of device that seems to be better for flying ships or whatever. The keyboard doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, come back around the other side. We'll see basically the same thing. Keyboard, same type of chairs. Um, the decking there, even those stations down there have a fairly large area of viewing that they can form in. Again, as I come back around, I'm going to take a little bit of a look at this passageway here, just so we can see anything that might be interesting there. And then I'm going to come back around. I'm spending a lot more time here because I did find this ship just so interesting behind you. Um, you really don't know it unless you've done it in VR or, or spent some time really trying to look while you're in normal, normal view. Um, a lot there. Unless you're in VR, you really don't see some of that lower decking either. I tried to peer out over it. I felt like I was going to fall down when I did that, so I stopped. And I'll come back around. So in this one, large ship, a good transporting ship, um, needs, uh, it's uh, it really is slow and uh, kind of cumbersome, but it does hold quite a bit. Uh, makes for a good. You can. It also makes for a halfway decent uh, miner as well. There's a lot there to do. Next ship up is the Keelback. This is the last in the series of Lacon Spaceway ship. Again, as you can see, theme here once again. Same in the uh, um, the canopy is basically the same above and below. A few differences and how it's designed but the view is essentially the same a lot of view and these ships perform the same types of things either exploration and or transport and um, so you have uh, a lot of view there in order to, to do that again we in the ship we're back to as we look behind us and and to the right and left uh, back to the uh, uh, the uh, monitors behind us, and then obviously the same canopy type. All right. So, big, so you know, as we go through these ships, you see the continuous theme with with each of the manufacturer's ships. They have certain themes they stick to. Variation, a few variations here and there. Um, certainly, I'm sure that made it easier to build these um, for the developers. And I can't help but thinking that um, when we get into multi-crew and being able to move around more, they'll, they'll be adjusting some of this quite a bit. Textures are, are, again, I really like the textures in here in this ship as well. As you can see, there's that uh, monitor again. Same type of thing. If I were to stand up there close to you, say it's say basically the same thing. Uh, different picture of the ship because it's a different ship. Uh, we saw the same thing in the Falcon Delay, the Lacey ships. Same type of thing. This is the 360 view. Again, single-seater. 
kind of looks pretty close to um, to what we saw in the Diamondback. And on either side, you can see in this area. So like on Keelback. And you could always pause and actually see what that says at some point, as you could in any of these displays that are sitting there. All right. And once again, I'll make my way around, trying to avoid my desk chair. Make my way around the uh, headless pilot. And look at the view there. You see, it's just like in the Diamondback, I believe it was that panel of wires. Vents and wires. And I'll come back around, take a look at the back behind the pilot. So, again, same theme. Uh, similar theme across all the Lacon Spaceway ships. Well, that is about it for these eight Lacon ships. I hope you have enjoyed this VR tour of their cockpits. Next up will be the Imperial ships in the next in this video series. I hope you will enjoy that. I'll see you then.